Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have a scrap lift video for you. I am going to be scrap lifting this beautiful layout from Brandy L. David Davison. <laughs> Sorry, I found this layout on Pinterest. Um, if you're not following me on Pinterest, it's just Heather's Crafty Life over there. I pin all kinds of things. Um, so check it out. I am going to be loosely following this sketch or not sketch this layout um the photo orientation is a little bit different but for the most part i stick pretty closely to it um just it looks different but it looks the same <laughs> there's lots of differences in this layout that i create um, but there is also lots of similarities so yeah so first we're starting with white cardstock which is what was in the um layout that you guys saw and I'm going to start with two different pattern papers and I'm going to tear them and these papers are going to go at the top and the bottom of the layout just like in the layout that I'm scrap lifting and if you're new to scrapbooking a scrap lifting is just taking somebody else's layout and you can take bits and pieces from their layout and incorporate incorporate it in your layout or you can just take it as an exact match and just do exactly everything that they did. Usually, for the most part, I take bits and pieces um, and I like to take my own spin on it and kind of embellish in my own way because I think all of us have our own style of embellishing. Um, and so, like where you put your stickers and where you put your title and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so the photo <laughs> is a photo of Greg and I, if you're new here, he's my husband. Um, and he is my, he literally, he's my biggest cheerleader. Um, he is the best. He is my best friend. And if you can't tell I'm smiling right now, just talking about him makes me smile. And if you've been here for a while, you know that. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've done a layout of Greg and I on the YouTube channel, but I do a lot of, a lot of just different kinds of layouts and things over on my Patreon. Um, if you guys would like to check that out, it will be in the description box down below. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, I have this photo of him and I from, I think this was like two weeks ago. Uh, we were just out running errands on a weekend, I believe, maybe a Friday or Saturday. And I was like, let's take a photo. <laughs> um, he has gotten so much better. I would say over, uh, the past couple of months of taking photos of himself while he's not here. Um, because he does work out of town and sending them to me. So you guys might see like a compilation of those um, because he's in his work like outfit and all of them. So I might just add them and just do one layout or do like a double page layout of just photos of him that he takes at work for me um, because they all look similar because he's wearing the same outfit and um, yeah, but they just always, just always make me smile. He sent me one today um, and texted me and it just, it literally just made my heart melt. And I texted him and I said, you make my heart melt. <laughs> he is truly my best friend and I love him so much. And surprisingly, I don't have any like lovey-dovey Valentine's kind of collections in my stash. And I thought that I did, but I don't. But this... Um, this collection worked really well, surprisingly, even though it's like, it's a spring collection, right? This is the Paige Evans Bloom Street collection from a couple years ago. I still have a ton of it left and I've used a lot of it. Um, I don't know why I purchased so much of it. It's beautiful, but it's taking me forever to use it. Um, but it worked. It really did. So I encourage you, and I say this all the time, use your themey, um, themey kind of collections or non-themey collections for different uses. This is definitely a very spring inspired, um, collection. However, this photo was taken in August and it was not spring, but there's really no indication that it's spring or not. 
Um, and so I think it works. Um, so yeah, I'm starting my little floral cluster up here at the top left hand corner, just like in the layout that I'm scrap lifting. Um, I am really not great at layering up florals. Um, I really do enjoy using florals and it's one of my go-to embellishments just because I think that they're um, easily used on any kind of layout. However, I'm just not, I don't feel like I'm great at clustering them, but I think I'm getting better. Um, so I'm adding different kinds of leaves, different flowers, different size flowers, and some of them I'm going to pop up on some foam just to give them a little more dimension. Um, and I really, really like the way that that looks. Um, and I am using some liquid glue here to glue these down. I did several little layers behind the photo and I put foam behind the photo as well to add some dimension. And, um, yeah, I really, I love it. I love this photo of us too. It's, we're just so cute. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to do a little cluster of florals off to the left hand side of the photo. And again, I just felt like I don't know. I felt like it just wasn't looking right. And so I bring in another flower and I was like, okay, that's what it was. It was just a flower. Um, I'm going to move some things around. And actually, after I got done filming this, I actually did end up adding another flower um, to this little cluster. And I actually added another flower to the top cluster. Um, and I popped it up on foam. I think I popped both of them. Yeah, both of them up on foam. Um, and so if you want to see like the full picture of this layout, it will be posted on my Instagram. Um, and you can see what I'm talking about, the little differences that I made after this, because that happens sometimes for me. I don't know about any of y'all other people who, um, do YouTube videos, but I'll finish the layout and I'll be like, okay, the video is done. And then I take a look at it again and I'm like, um, I feel like it's missing something. And then I just add little touches here and there. So if you're ever wanting to see like a completed full layout or you want to scrap lift something, um, head over to my Instagram. I don't always post every single layout, but I do post a lot of them over there. So now we are going to work on the title. So when I first pulled this collection out, I saw this flutter, um, thickers, word phrase, whatever you want to call it. And I knew that that is what I wanted to use for the title. I knew I wanted to use You Make My Heart Flutter. And I wasn't sure exactly what um, alphas that I was going to use, but I knew that I wanted to do like a mixed alpha um, and do several different colors, different fonts, um, because this collection is so colorful and there is um, holographic foiling throughout this collection. There's lots of pinks and purples and blues and greens. I thought that it would be fun to incorporate several different um, colors and fonts and sizes and all of the things. I really love big titles. I like the impact that they make. And this title, it just came to me when I saw the word flutter because Greg, he really does. We've been married almost 14 years and he still does make my heart flutter. I still get butterflies when I get cute little texts from him. Um, and when I know that he's going to get home, um, on the weekends, I get butterflies and yeah, so <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be though, right? <laughs> um, so I had the thickers out and I actually did not have a Y on these. So I had to go searching for another one. Um, I would have preferred the other ones because they were um, like wider. These are kind of thin. I wanted some wider ones or thicker ones, but it works. I would have preferred the other ones, but I didn't have a Y, so it's okay. So there's my title. And now I'm going to add some butterflies, of course, because wings and flutter and butterflies wings flutter. And so I was kind of going off of that. I went a little crazy and went a little overboard with the butterflies here. Um, I actually end up taking the two green ones off because I was like, hold up, that's too much. <laughs> it just doesn't look right to me. It's just, no, this is not going to work. So I end up pulling those off and I actually did not rip the paper. 
surprise, surprise, yay. <laughs> and I am going to add some little um, puffy, these, what are they? I guess they're just puffy stickers, but they're like dots and flowers and hearts. Um, they're from Bella Boulevard and I am going to add those in a couple places and I'm adding, oh, I did add that little um, flower on camera. Okay. So in, in her layout, she had a whole bunch of splatters in the background. I really didn't feel like doing splatters. And so I was like, oh, maybe I can do these little dots. And then I realized there weren't enough dots and I really didn't like them. So I'm going to use them as like enamel dots and do them in some clusters. And then that, um, yeah, that'll be my layout for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Bye friends.